You know Money Power Politics is my favorite part of the show, but today, let's jack it up even higher. We are talking about workers and benefits. Lawmakers cannot seem to make any movement towards legislation to protect workers. So companies, companies are starting to take matters into their own hands. The issues that are front and center, wage inequality, family leave, and the two tiers of employees that can have completely different experiences or benefits working for the exact same company. One extraordinary CEO believes it is time for corporations to treat workers fairly, and she's starting it with her own company. Jennifer Hyman, she is the co-founder and CEO of Rent the Runway. Welcome. I saw Hi. your op-ed in the New York Times this week and thought it was Stunning. What stood out to me, you said, it is time for business leaders to step up and fulfill not only their fiduciary duty to shareholders, but also their moral duty to society to treat every worker equally. That is an extraordinary sentiment, but more Thank than you. a sentiment, you're doing it. What are you doing? Well, we equalized benefits across all of our employees and all of our teams. I realized that I had inadvertently created two classes of employees at my own company and further perpetuated income inequality and lack of mobility. So my more educated, relatively more privileged corporate employees were getting very generous parental leave and flexibility and bereavement policies. And my warehouse and customer service employees were receiving bare bones policies that left them with not only no flexibility, but limited ability to care for an ill loved one or grieve after the death of a family member. And it is really to rob someone of those experiences is to rob them of their humanity. Other corporations, other CEOs might say, I simply can't afford to do that. I have to focus on my shareholders and my bottom line, and I have to offer good benefits to my college-educated employees, but my factory workers, they're more disposable. What do you say to those CEOs? I would say that while this might seem like it's expensive in the short run, in the long run this is actually going to save my business money. It's going to lead to higher employee retention, lower training costs, higher productivity. We know that 70% of millennials, which is the majority of the labor force at this point, wants to work at companies that exemplify their values. And I think that even more so there are hidden costs that exist that CEOs don't even know about or understand. So for instance, a employee in my warehouse team, when I announced the new policy of pa paid family sick leave, expressed that she had intended to quit her job the following week because her own daughter was getting a C-section and she needed to stay home and care for her daughter. And beforehand, she ha didn't have that flexibility to actually take paid family sick leave. She was intending to quit. I never would have known the reason why she was even leaving Rent the Runway. So there are so many examples of this that are hidden to employers. So would your message to lawmakers be, why don't they put some regulation in place, some laws in place to push companies to do this? This is a very forward-thinking, evolved approach. And there's a lot of CEOs who don't think the way you do. They could be forced to if the government made them. I think that it is a shame and shame on us as citizens that we haven't demanded this from our government. But in the meantime, business leaders need to step up to be moral leaders and to actually recognize that they're in positions to affect millions of people and their lives and that no one person's life is more important than another person's life. I had a child last year, and even though I am the CEO of Rent the Runway, my having a child is not more important than any other person at my company having a child. Did you get any pushback? Did you get any pushback from executives, investors who would say, this isn't going to help our bottom line? I mean, this is a bold move. I didn't. My board was extremely supportive and was so supportive of this and understood that it would end up not only saving us money but also contributing to retention across the board. One of the things that was remarkable to me is when I launched this at the company, the employees who were the most excited about these changes were my corporate employees. I didn't even change benefits for my corporate employees. I just equalized them amongst everyone. But my corporate employees were so excited that we were actually walking the walk when it comes to our values of empowering people.
I am excited to learn about this, to hear about this, and to get to spend a few minutes with you this morning. That is called Great Corporate Leadership. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.